All right, so what we're gonna do today is how to finish a painting, especially a portrait. And so what we're doing right now is it's lacking some reds. And so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create a little bit more color and dance with it more in this portrait. I'm gonna start with this side, deepening this side, and then some finishing touches, okay? And this is my palette here where I've mixed up certain colors, okay? Indian red, permanent red, or alizarin you can use. This is a cadmium. This is burnt umber. This is ultramarine blue, which we may have to mix to make a very dark color and then throw a little red in. And this is your default color for Latin skin. Okay, these two colors. And then there's an ochre in case I need it. Titanium white to create two different tones. All right, so I'm gonna start by mixing my default color, which is burnt sienna with a little bit of sap green. Okay. Look how I separate away from the colors. Okay, now it's just a little too green. So I take this over here and I take a little of that sap green. I'm gonna add just a wee bit of color just to see. And then I take my palette knife and now I'm going to take a reading. Oh, obviously that's way, way too green, but that's it's getting close, and so I'm going to add a little bit more of the burnt sienna to get it to be a little bit more like her skin color. This is default. Doesn't mean it's going to match exactly, but we want to get close. We're always taking readings. Obviously, when you take a reading, you can automatically tell, oh yeah, we need more red. Over here, oh, we need more white and a little bit more red, okay? That's the purpose of using, uh, taking a reading, okay? Now I'm gonna take this, put over here, add some white. I'm gonna get two tones that are obviously different from one another, okay? With Latin skin, you have to do that. And then I might even make a last tone, which would be the highlight. There, when you get three tones like this, oh my God, you are going to nail all the tones in a portrait that has good lighting, okay? Okay, now I'm ready to add a little of this red. I'm gonna go what seems, I'm gonna add over here, just take a portion of this and test it. I'm not gonna mix it all up yet. I'm just testing things. See how I have two, so now I can tell the difference and I have a comparison. Same tone, just a little bit more pinky and red. Now I'm gonna take that measurement. Wow, look how much closer I got. It's gonna look really good here. And I do this throughout this um, while I'm mixing my colors, all right? You wanna pre-mix with oils, okay? If you don't pre-mix, uh, you don't have anything to compare to. So I, I'm taking a little of this and just creating a little bit more. Maybe try this a little bit. What does that do? You know, maybe it's too pinky. Well, let's go find out. And I just go over here. Okay. All right. So there's the light. Now I'm going to move over to the shadow color. And I'm going to take my default color over here and add a darker red to it and see if I can get a little bit of this, add maybe a little bit of liquid. And now I'm gonna take a reading where it goes. Look at that. 